Silvergate Capital was a bank that specialized in providing services to crypto-related businesses, such as exchanges, miners, custodians, and investors. The bank suffered a major blow when FTX, one of its largest clients and one of the world's biggest crypto exchanges, filed for bankruptcy on February 28, 2023. FTX owed Silvergate more than $1 billion in loans and deposits. The bankruptcy of FTX triggered a panic among other crypto clients of Silvergate, who withdrew their funds en masse from the bank. This caused a liquidity crisis for Silvergate, which could not meet its obligations to its creditors and regulators. On March 8, 2023, Silvergate announced that it planned to wind down its operations and voluntarily liquidate its bank. It said it had no viable alternative to preserve value for its shareholders and stakeholders. The liquidation of Silvergate is expected to have a significant impact on the crypto industry, as many US crypto firms will need to find new banking partners. It may also deter traditional banks from accepting crypto-related deposits or offering crypto-related services Silvergate was co-founded as a savings and loan association in 1988 by Dennis Frank and Derek J. Isley. It initially operated as a three-branch community bank in the San Diego region, offering traditional banking services to local customers. In 2016, Silvergate pivoted into cryptocurrencies, seeing an opportunity to provide financial services to crypto-related businesses that were underserved by mainstream banks. It launched the Silvergate Exchange Network, a platform that enabled real-time transfers of US dollars between crypto exchanges and institutional investors. In 2019, Silvergate conducted an initial public offering on the New York Stock Exchange, raising $40 million and becoming one of the first publicly traded crypto-focused banks. It also expanded its crypto offerings to include lending, custody and derivatives products. In 2020 and 2021, Silvergate benefited from the surge in crypto adoption and innovation attracting more than 1,000 clients from various segments of the crypto industry, such as exchanges, miners, custodians, and investors. In November 2022, Silvergate Capital's stock price collapsed by 50% after it was revealed that it was connected to the alleged fraud scandal at crypto exchange FTX. FTX was accused of manipulating the crypto market and defrauding its customers of billions of dollars. A lawsuit was filed against Silvergate Capital, alleging that it knew about the FTX fraud and facilitated it by providing banking services. In December 2022, Silvergate Capital filed a report with the Securities and Exchange Commission stating that it had doubts about its ability to continue as a going concern due to its exposure to FTX and other crypto-related risks. The report also disclosed that Silvergate Capital had received subpoenas from various regulators, including the SEC, the Department of Justice and the New York Attorney General, regarding its involvement with FTX and other crypto clients it had over $7 billion in crypto deposits as of December 2022. In 2023, Silvergate faced a crisis when FTX filed for bankruptcy following a market crash and a regulatory crackdown. FTX owed Silvergate more than $1 billion in loans and deposits. The bankruptcy triggered a mass exodus of other crypto clients from Silvergate, causing a liquidity crunch for the bank. The liquidation marked the end of Silvergate's history as a pioneer and leader in the crypto banking space. While hindsight is 2020, Silvergate could have taken the following actions to prevent its collapses diversifying its client base and revenue streams beyond crypto related businesses, which are highly volatile and risky, reducing its exposure and dependency on FTX and other large crypto clients which made it vulnerable to their bankruptcy or fraud. Implementing stricter due diligence and compliance measures for its crypto clients, especially those that operate in unregulated or grey markets. 
enhancing its liquidity and capital buffers to withstand sudden shocks and withdrawals from its crypto clients. Communicating more transparently and proactively with its shareholders, regulators and the public about its financial health and risk management. Liquidity crisis is a term we have been hearing a lot about these past few weeks and hopefully things change, and we won't have another bank collapse in the near future causing more panic in the banking sector.